So welcome to the vlog. I was on my way. I'll tell you later. I found these guys. Check it out. They said that was a sound check. They were just doing a sound check. It's pretty cool, man. Check, check, check. Hard to do that. I always said a sound man make you or break you. I guess in our case, we you broke all the way or they started to get to being broke yet. That sounds pretty Well, guys, on my way to today's spot, the, the spot of today's vlog, I was riding my bicycle. Me and my son again saying, say hi. Oh, they said, oh, by the way, they said you was a good boy for picking up that poop yesterday. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, on the way to today's vlog spot, the vlog spot, um, I came across Hillbilly Village once again. Now, give me one there's the sign there look at that it's still there of course it's gonna be there for a while you know and here's the here's the parking lot out there now I'm standing right here is really the foundation of hillbilly village right here is where the uh, store was we're standing in where the store was now I'm going to walk right back here guys now this is kind of Bittersweet, sweet because I get to go back here, but bitter because it's gone. Because I used to love this place. I mean, it's even they even graded it and everything. But right here, right that spot, right there. Oh, you know what? Watch X marks the spot right there on that X. Now my hands are filthy again. X marks the spot for a moonshine still. Over here was the moonshine steel. Back there was the moonshine steel. Right back there in that corner was the guy on the uh, on the outhouse toilet that said, "What are you looking at?" And when he opened the door, and then the the, the cabin was right here, and, and then you went back in, and right here was the little section that was under under like a sunroom that you bought souvenirs in. And then up front there was the store again, and. Really sad to see it gone, but anyways, that's not the topic of today's vlog. We are headed right. Oh well, you know what? What a segue! Holy cow! Don't even have to cut. Anyways, the topic of today's vlog. We don't. We don't have to go anywhere. It, it begins right here. Is this place? This place and one other. Okay. Before I tell you what that is, hurry up in the comments. Hurry up. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Okay, look how big it is. Look over here. Right there. I'll give you a hint. It used to be, it used to be red. That got me really bright, 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 bright red. Maybe, eh, maybe there's some bright red up there. But anyways, it used to be really bright red. The roof of that place used to be real red. Okay, it was the red roof mall. Okay, well, I, I want to know why. You know, I know malls, uh, indoor malls are failing everywhere. Um, there's two, this isn't an indoor mall, and you know, it's actually, it was a beautiful, beautiful place right here, the Red Roof Mall, and it, it just didn't make it. Um, it stayed relevant for a long time, and I'm going to bring you up there in just a second, show you the shops and show you what it looks like now, and there's one more that didn't make it in Pigeon Forge, and it's the Bells Mall. We're going to go by there and show you that. I. You used to be able to get into it. They used to let you walk around in there. I don't know if they do anymore, but we're going to see. And that's over there. But for now, we're going to concentrate on the Red Roof Mall. It's right there. One last goodbye to Hillbilly Village. 
Okay, there we go. There's the mall. Look at that place. It goes all the way up there. Well, I'm going to take you right up under this over underpass right here and go up to the top. If you read that, it says Pigeon Forge Factory Outlet Mall under the red roof. It's known as the Red Roof Rooms. I'm going to show you what's left. How many stores are actually here? The ones that are here are right here on this first row, and they're usually just little gift shops. And right down there, it says, see on that sign, it says Pigeon Forge factory outlet mall I don't know if somebody else bought the front piece of it here but I'm gonna take you up top there and show you what's left of the Red Roof Mall okay so I've come up to the top of the Red Roof Mall right down there is where we just were sorry about that hammer they're actually uh, working over here at Smokey's Furniture I believe that's the only place I see in here that, that is actually um, in business the dude waved at us over there from Smokey's Furniture but if you look way down there, hold on, right here, nothing is in any of those. Now you come right over here. This used to be a, a, a store that sold clothes, nothing. This is the auction company. And there is a toys and gift store right here. It's the only place open in the whole area. It's called Just Stop. Hang on. It's called Just Stop Everything on Sale. Swimwear, souvenirs, T6M, 6X. That's the only store up here. Ooh, look at that shot of the mountains. Oh, what's it? Look at that shot of the mountains back there. Hold on. Right there. There. Mountains in the cloud. Look at the wacky flailing arm, inflatable flailing tube guy. What is his name? Let's go see him. Nothing. Okie dokie, further on. Okay, it looks like they're using it also as a bus, bus parking lot. Smoky Mountain Dream Vacation. Yeah, so what they've done is they've changed it. Oh, see, Rocky Thompson. What they've done is they've changed it from being a mall that's open every day, try, uh, you know, trying to make money to a place that businesses. Oh, see, like the tattoo business, permanent ring of this tattoo. You know, the media business, the veterans, the coke stores, but most of them are legit businesses. Which, wow, I can't believe it now I know why it's still here. I always wondered why I'm absolutely going 100 miles an hour vlogging on my. Whoa! Okay, now if we go this way, whoa! Slow her down, slow her down. Okay, now. Slowed down. That was crazy, guys. I was flying. Handbag Superstore, Sea Country Music USA. Now these, these stores down here in the front, are all. They all do great, but that's because they are right on the Parkway, which is right there. So, all these stores are great. I know. You know what, guys? I'm gonna invest in a mic. Um, because I know the wind is probably. Not good. I'm not sure. Usually I can work around it, but I am going to get a mic. But anyways, see, so look, this way, um, down here, Souvenir World, Old Time Portraits, Gifts and Novels, they all do pretty good. They rent, look, right here. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Come to Pigeon Forge, rent one of these. Look at that. You can rent that, or you can rent this. What? Okay, well, that was a tour of the Red Roof Mall. It's not so red anymore. Now it's this. Really? See, this is red. That's red. This is what they call red. Whoever made it was colored white. And seriously, no, it was red before. It's just been here so long and they haven't upkept it. And it went from that to that. But, 
It looks like it's doing okay. It's, that's why it's still here because all those businesses moved in, which is great. Great, because hey, it's, it's not a wasted space if somebody's using it, you know. Okay, let's head over to Bell's and I'll show you that. I just stopped here to get this picture because I thought it was a pretty shot. Look at that, the wheel there. You look off in the background there, there's there's mountains here. Let me, right back there. Some pretty old mountains. And then Pigeon Forge is right here. That is Dolly's Lumberjack thing, I think, is in there. And this is the back side. Look at that. There's a go kart track sticking up above that hotel right there. See it? Never seen this view. Anyways, we are headed right across the street from this place. Now, this place is definitely not a failing brand or not in a failing mall, which is ironic because it's right across the street from the mailing, the mailing, the failing mall, the Bells. And here we go. Okay, so we made it up to the the Bells Mall. That's it back there. That that white one. I don't know why. It failed, I don't know why. It, it it just, it was really awesome. It was an indoor mall. You go in right there, there's three entrances. One there, one there, and one down there at the end. And we're gonna go check them all out. Uh, look at the wheel from here. Now this mall across the street, more of an, it's an outdoor mall, see? And that one is doing great. And there it goes there. And that's where I always go to Nike, which is right there. Okay, Bell's Mall here. I try. Okay, a little uh, side note. It's pretty funny. When I was, geez, what was I, 17? I worked in here at a place called Chicken Lickin'. And that's no joke. It's all locked up. And... They've got the windows boarded up with cardboard, they say. Okay, this is the main entrance here. If you look to the right is the other mall that's flourishing and nice. Nothing here. Get down to this parking lot, nothing, just empty parking lots. One day I hope they did they do something with this place. You know my idea would be to buy it and build a huge skate park for all the kids to come ride. Mm -hmm dreams huh this is the side door of what used to be Burks this mall there and this was the side door my fave one of my favorite places to shop for clothes guess what this big building is yep you guessed it Burks outlet yep that was it one of my favorite stores really cool place nice new store they got and they moved out of the bells and moved over here and DXL men's outlet and right next to that is Coleman. Coleman Camping. My next favorite store in that mall over there. And then, to beat it all, the old time pottery down there on the end is where I got kicked out of for vlogging in one of my very first vlogs I ever did on this channel. Well, not really. My, maybe one of the first ten was in that place and I got kicked out. I just had to had to show this sweet S14. It's really nice. I believe it's an S14. Yeah, that's an S14. It's beautiful. It's a Nissan uh, 240SX. S14, beautiful, beautiful car. Okay, okay, guys. Well, you tell me. I don't know. Why? Why? Why did the one fail and the other ones do good? I don't know. But join me tomorrow. Why don't you? I'm gonna go do something for, oh, oh, tomorrow's gonna be a great one. Um, are you going with me tomorrow? Yeah, okay, yeah, tomorrow is a, is, is a special one. Um, and you, the way I'm doing it right now is still, is filming during the day, getting home about six o'clock at night, editing and uploading it, it gets up about 11 or so. It's pretty, it's, it's uh, scary, because I, I, I don't wanna miss a day, you know what I'm saying, so, it's, it, it's scary, but anyways, Gotta go, gotta edit, gotta upload. Tomorrow's a good one. Tomorrow's a good one. Tell me why those fail. I'll see you tomorrow.